Good evening and welcome back once again. Today we are away to Levante and as usual a fair few changes. Some of it down to just wanting to rest some tire legs and some of it down to the form arrows. As you can see Cousins and Arcas are on downward red so definitely not playing them. Mariba unfortunately is on a downward orange so what we're going to do is play Bajer and Fabio Vieira in attack midfielder positions. Normally where Bajer is that will be a central midfield position and we'll play either Mariba or Cousins. Herrera is going to play in defensive midfield. Front three of Mudrik, Xerxi and Carlos Perez as we're resting the likes of Ruben Castro. And a back four of Teixeira and Emerson on the wing backs. Cossonu, Balbuena in the middle and they've got Schubert in goal. Like I say, we're way to Levante today. Should be a relatively easy match compared to some of the other sort of big teams that we've been playing recently. But these are the ones that can um, make you slip up, feel a bit too cocky. We've had some decent results in the past couple of matches though. And I've actually just finished recording, sorry not recording, I was doing a live stream of Returnal on Twitch. Just did about an hour and a quarter, not long, not a long stream in the, in the slightest, but hadn't played it in just over a week. I think the last time I did a stream was eight or nine days ago. So I was very rusty. It was a very uh, rough stream to say the least. The, the, run, the first few runs I had were terrible. Um... Towards the end, I was getting a little bit better. I was getting into the, the Crimson Wastes, which is something I've just unlocked relatively recently. So I'm having fun exploring that, but um, I haven't managed to get further forward on that yet. But I'm hoping to do another stream maybe in a few days' time. Of course, by the time this video comes out, that'll be long in the past. But hoping to keep the streaming up. It's obviously a little bit harder because recording is, is a bit easier in terms of the, it can be relatively short. Like, you know, a game of pairs and by the time I talk and everything, it might be about 20, 25 minutes and then I edit it down. Stream you're looking at, normally it's, you try and stream for maybe at least a couple of hours, normally. Um, ah, blocked there, I was trying to get murdered through. But yeah, and obviously you just need to find the time where you can do that constantly. You can't just walk away for 10 minutes or make some food or you know, do things I've got to do so it's a little bit harder for me trying to find that time to stream here's Teixeira on the run though oh my word how close was that if that had have crept in uh, the other side of the post I think that would have been well maybe not the best goal we've scored but it would be right up there also another thing uh, hopefully regulars of the the series may have noticed that i do upload shorts as well so i've started uploading um shorts of, of several games but a lot of it's like good goals i've scored in in this game so i'll take some of the the better ones or the ones that i've enjoyed the most and put them in short form and it's nice seeing them like that i, I quite like the the process even if i don't get like many views or anything um although some of them have done some decent numbers Anyway, here's Carlos Perez. Now Emerson. Bjerre. Bjerre. Oh, good save. But yeah, I've started doing shorts. I mean, by the time you watch this video, there's probably going to be quite a lot on there. Good. Trying to do one a day. Uh, there's some Super Roto Pets on there. A couple of Resident Evil things. Uh, Returnal. And obviously, the more games I play, the I'll put different ones in. If it's suitable for that short format. And just on that hang Cosano. Oh, he has a decent shot as well. He's only had the one goal for the club. It's been close a couple of other times, but very nice shot. But on that note, when I started doing the shorts, and I am not a TikTok lover at all, my brother often when he's when he's up uh, in Newcastle where I live. Because he lives down south. When he's up, he's normally sh like show me TikTok stuff and that. And I just I don't really like it myself. Um, oh, it's a post, oh, and the goalkeeper saves it. I'll get back to that in a moment. Ah, it's a foul. But yeah, I've, I've refused because some of the TikTok, TikTok stuff I'm just not keen on. Um, and I know what I'm like. If if I start watching it, I'll you know I think oh, I'll just watch one more and then you know an hour later. I've, 
and God knows what videos. You know, cats wearing hats or something. You know, just random videos. Um, but what I've started doing is I've started uploading my YouTube shorts to uh, TikTok as well. Just to try it out. Here's Vieira. Zergsy, gotta be... Oh, how did the keeper save that? And it's somehow crept wide. Don't even get a corner out of it. And obviously TikTok's... I mean, YouTube shorts pretty much copied TikTok, I believe. Um, here's Bajer. Oh, with his right, so it was off target. But yeah, I'm, just, I'm just trying to mix things up, because... It's quite fun. I can edit a lot of it on my phone rather than having to, you know, I edit these videos obviously on really good software on my laptop and I enjoy it. But it's nice being able to just edit some short things and do it on my phone. I've got a good app called Splice, I think it is, just a free app. Um, and you can edit like videos and stuff, fairly basic functions, but it does the job. That's a foul. Anyway, let's concentrate. But hopefully, you know, if you're watching this video, go and check out my uh, shorts. Um, go check out my TikTok if you can. Oh, it's the same username, Toon Gamer. Um, Toon with a, a two at the start rather than a T. Now, looking back on my uh, on my YouTube name, I, I, I kind of wish I had have picked something different. I mean, it's obviously unique, as in no one else has got it, but... Um, a few people have always said, like, how do you say the game? How do you say the name of uh, your channel name? Now, free kick. Oh, no. Come on, get someone back. Why won't he go back? Ah, blocked it anyway. Yeah, there's actually, like, a barrier there. I couldn't bring my player back on the line which is weird it was like an invisible barrier but we're still nil nil probably because I'm too busy talking oh, just wide I've had some decent chances though I've had some good shots from distance we've hit the post the keepers made a really great save a couple of shots wide so it's certainly not being boring. Emerson couldn't, Emerson couldn't quite get the ball in there. But again, we've got a corner and we've looked a little bit dangerous off these. Not this time. Nice play there, just to keep the ball. Ooh, Madrick, no. Here's Herrera. I'll take Shara. Oh, nice overlap. Xerxes, how have you missed that? That was such a good play. And Xerxes just cocked it up massively. I'm not going to even watch that. I know it was... I mean, I don't know why he hit it with his weaker foot when it was ideal for his right. Yeah, lost it then, then I did. Lovely play from Vieira, though. Chance here caught them out. And Mudrick, Zixi, 1 0. Mudrick, very unselfish there. He really could have went for goal. But that was all Vieira with the tackle. Lovely driving forward and then slipped Mudrick in. Perfectly way to pass. Again, I could have had a shot there, but the defender was closing in, and if you're familiar with my previous videos, you know how much I hate uh, defenders blocking 90% of the shots. So I think that was the right decision. Zerxi nearly hit it right towards the keeper. Just before tight, half time as well. Good to get in the break, not being nil nil. Nice header there. Can we make a two? It's 
Six eight. Carlos Perez. Really good chance to make a two there. And that'll be half time. 71% possession. Didn't realise it was that high. Didn't feel it. I know we were dominating, but it felt like they had a bit more possession than that. But 11 shots, 7 on target. We're certainly trigger happy, but um, a lot of them were long, from long distance. Entertaining half. There's a lot of attacking. Um, obviously not many goals, but... I think it was just the types of shots I was going for. The ones that are not going to be successful that much... That you know, percentage-wise, is going to be fairly low. Can't get my words out today. Oh, nice play there from Teixeira. Now Modric. Herrera. Vieira. Oh, just wide. The keeper was absolutely rooted. Don't even get a replay. It wasn't that far wide. Nice pay from Xerxes. Oh, and just lost out there, Carlos Perez. He nearly won it back. Ah, carved open here. I can see that coming a mile off, but Lordy. Good tackle. Lovely play from Cosano. Oh, nearly such a good ball. Xerxes did well. He Drew the defenders away on that uh, sort of centre left position so Perez could run into it. Which he did so. Nice little ball there to Bajer. Waiting for Tech Shara. Don't think the pass is on there really. Vieira. Ah, that's an awful shot. We'll maybe make some subs now. So we're going to switch Carlos Perez to play up top, then put Bajer on the right. Harrington's going to come on with Danny Garcia sitting in centre midfield position, and Emerson's going to have a bit of a rest, so we're bringing on McDowell. And in the past, that combination of Carlos Perez switching up top with Bajer on the right has offered some great combinations and goals. Of course, Bajer's got a bit of tight legs anyway, so we'll have to wait and see. But they've got um, arguably the, the best partnership in our team. The way they play together. Nice play there. Vieira. Oh, just wide again. I just can't quite hit the target today. It was nice play. I'm not going to watch it again. Because it. I don't tend to watch replays of misses. Because I missed quite a lot by the looks of it today, especially. But if it's very close, like that Texera one early in the uh, first half. That's a decent ball, but Mujic's legs are a little bit tired for that. Maybe not the best option. If that was earlier. If it was in the first half, it might have been a, a decent ball. Nice play from Danny Garcia after he seemed to get fouled. Carlos Perez, ooh, nearly got through, turned back to my left and the defender was already there, maybe the wrong decision, maybe should have just hit it on my right, on his weaker foot, yep, I knew that left hand position was going to be trouble, good block, don't panic, there we go, that's better. Nice play there. Vieira gets it back. Ah, Carlos Perez, what are you doing? <laughs> Wanting him to run on. Nice play though now. Again, just maybe a bit too slow. By that time it was there. Uh, the counter attack was over. Just behind Tarrington. But he'll get it back here. Vieira. Perez. Oh, wide again. What is with that left post? 
dread to look at the stats later how many we've actually shot off target. It's only 1 0, but it's going to be around about 20 shots, isn't it? Nice play there. Oh, what? I don't even know how that happened. That's just weird. It's not going to start trying to get me to lose this game, is it? Uh, or rather lose a goal. Feels like it. Nice play. And Mudrick's in here. Has he got enough in his legs? Oh, and he set it wide again. I wasn't even aiming on that side. I was aiming on the right hand, right hand side. Well, my finishing today has been atrocious. <laughs> so sorry about that. Really not good. Of course it was... Uh, how can I not hit anything? Even just by law of averages, there should have been more shots gone on target, even just by luck. This is uh, strange. And some of the players I'm using are on really good form, which normally means that doesn't happen as much. Oh, that's a, just a poor pass. Please, not on the last kick of the game. And it's wide. 1-0, but let's jump into the stats to see how many I missed uh, off target. Yeah, so again, nearly 70% possession, but look at that. 17 shots, 7 on target. So, yeah, we're getting towards that 20-shot zone. Decent ratings all around for the team, though. I mean, we did play well. We created lots of chances. On another day, we'll probably score on four or five there easily. Uh, Ziggs, he'd get man of the match, mainly just because of his goal. But I did feel like Vieira deserved a bit better. He was really good, created a lot. Carlos Perez was good as well, but just wasted opportunities. And the subs obviously didn't get much chance to, to make an impact. But McDowell getting the lowest just because I think he was only on the ball once, maybe. Other than that, some really good ratings. And we're still seven points clear of Atletico Madrid. They've got a little bit of a gap to Real. Fourth spot, a massive gap. It's going to be interesting to see who potentially could keep pushing us or who's going to get those top two and three spots. And the next match is away at Girona. We'll then do December's stats after that because that's the end of the month. And of course, it's the January transfer window opening after that. There will be some new regens coming through, I believe, in January. So we'll have to have a look to see if there's anyone decent. We don't want to just buy loads of regens or have them from the youth squad. We're going to do it fairly slowly and maybe just have one or two now and again. So join me for that one next time. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Cheers.